So I do want to chat here with meteorologist Chris Birchfield from the National Weather Service in Brownsville. Uh, Chris, thank you for joining us this afternoon. And my first question for you regarding the uh, situation from this flooding event is uh, essentially, what's the severity of the flooding going on? Describe to us the situation at hand today. Well, uh, thank you for having me. The situation is not very good down here. Uh, thankfully, thankfully, we are getting a break from the rainfall. But as we speak, there are ongoing rescues going on in the middle of Rio Grande Valley, including Mission, McAllen, and even points that um, had heavy rainfall yesterday, we still have aerial flood warnings out for them because there's still many road closures and people actually being rescued uh, throughout the Rio Grande Valley. And now we're experiencing more heavy rainfall in the lower valley. So, you know, the, the threat shifts eastward, at least for now. And you talked about the uh, severity of the flooding too. And looking back, so once this event is pretty much said and done, you, and you look back at, at this flooding situation here across the Brownsville region and other areas such as uh, Mission, Texas, and other communities had similar impacts of that, what would be some of the most memorable or I would even classify as historical in terms of impacts? Um, well, a lot of areas that have flooded with this amount of rainfall, I don't think we've seen this bad of um, flooding in several decades in some areas, especially the McAllen area. When you pick up over a foot of rainfall in one to two days or even less amount of time, you know, impacts build up really quickly. And unfortunately, we have a lot of vulnerable communities down here, what we call colonias, which we really worry about. They're basically uncorporated areas of uh, the city or the county and uh, we really worry about them, and we'll probably be looking at this event long after today. Is uh, Texas here, South Texas, how often does this region experience flooding of this magnitude? You said you haven't seen anything like this in the last couple of years, uh, decades even. Yeah, possibly. Um, well, some areas that right now, our reports are coming in of over 15 inches of rain. Um, I'll have to go look back at the historical context, but um, I, I don't believe this happens very often especially down here. And, um, you know, we were just saying in the last couple of weeks how we really needed rainfall. We were in a severe drought in many areas, but oftentimes in Texas, you end with a catastrophic flood. And unfortunately, that's what's happening now. And real quick, Chris, uh, what makes this region here across South Texas? We talked to just before we came on the air here, how Southern Texas is vulnerable for flooding. What makes South Texas so vulnerable for flooding of this magnitude? Um, a lot of the areas down here don't have great drainage systems and uh, some of the urban areas are obviously more prone to flooding because of the concrete and some of the soil content, obviously it doesn't allow water to drain uh, very quickly either. And when you're along the coast and you get uh, high magnitudes of moisture available, whenever you have a disturbance come by, rainfall rates are almost always gonna be really high. But when it sits over this long period of time, it just adds up really quickly. All right, Chris Birchfield, National Weather Service in Brownsville, Texas. Chris, we appreciate you joining us this afternoon, and uh, we certainly appreciate all the hard work that you and your office is doing here for today.